I'm waiting. Hey, this is Ford Management USA. Shula and Vanessa. Shula is the dark haired one. She's African American. And Vanessa is the blonde bombshell. Um, we have another employee, another co worker. His name is Damon. I think he was in the bathroom at the time. He takes quite a few bathroom breaks, but, um, you know, I. Who's keeping count, right? Um, but yeah, those are my co-workers. You know, when I see people, I really don't see color. You know, I see their energy, which cannot be colorized. I see their eyes. I mean, that has color, but, you know. And... I see how friendly they treat me, but not a lot of people approach stuff like that, you know? A lot of people do see color, like the Ku Klux Klan sees color, um, colorblind people don't see color, gay people see color, they see rainbow. But, I mean, that's different kind of color. Yeah. What do we say? He looks smaller than you. Wait, where are you from? Yeah. I thought it was on this side. No. No. Be careful. Where's Damon? Right behind. Oh. See, would I would have had it on video? If Shula were got hit, <laughs> and we could have like really sued. Shula tends to complain a lot about just about everything. I know that she's always complaining about my hair. She says that there's too much um, going on up there with the hair. I don't agree. I mean, I think that, you know, it looks okay. She also makes fun of me um, for my bubble coat. She says that she calls it my white bubble coat and then she laughs. But one of her major complaints is she doesn't like walking in crowds. So whenever we go somewhere, she tends to walk ahead of us and leaves the crowd behind. She just wants to shine. Always. That's Shula in a nutshell. <clears throat> oh, he's cute. Yeah. It's like America's deadliest videos? Shula! Can you cross the street and try to get hit? Oh, cross the street again and try and get, try hit. To get hit. Just Nick, like maybe right here. <laughs> on my foot? <laughs> and then we got it on video. <laughs> then I gotta split my money with y'all? No. <laughs> This is low lighting. I don't know if this is going to work. Can they put lamps? Yeah, we look horrible. Sorry. <laughs> it doesn't have light? Yeah, it doesn't have a light on it? Do you see a light? No, but it's got to have a light somewhere. But I would think in there. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like... Sometimes, um, Shula likes to express herself in the form of criticisms. She doesn't like for anybody to wear scarves um, except for herself. I know that sometimes she criticizes 
what other people, the kind of scarves that other people wear. Um, I know that when I got this scarf, she was kind of upset because she also has a red scarf and she keeps rubbing it in my face that her scarf is from some part of Africa that was specially sewn for her. I don't know. But today was going to be a special day because Shula is actually leaving us and she's no longer going to be working with the company. So I thought it would be nice to take everybody out to lunch. And, you know, I told them, you know, get whatever you want as long as it's on the $17 lunch menu. And everyone did. Well, not Shula. Shula made sure that, um, that she got the $65 lobster lunch. Non-special. But, you know, I mean, we had a good time, so... Do you look clear? Looks good? No. Mm -mm. Now it okay, does. Alright. You take the scarf off. I'm cold. Oh, you are? Why don't you take yours off? Oh. <laughs> I forgot to have mine on. It just look... Oh, on the camera, it just looks so... Move back. When you do Vanessa, move back. So you don't get... So she don't look so... Better? No. Oh, he had you up close. Put it back on. Yeah, you put it back on. He was right in your face. Not that way he did it. So. Well, the thing, the thing was that when we were going to go get the camera, she thought that we were going to the 40, she thought that we were in the 42nd because that's the one that you said. But the 42nd didn't have any cannons, which I didn't end up getting a cannon anyway. So we went to 23rd Street. However, it took us an hour to get there because Nando didn't know where he was going and had me on the B to B to F and the G train to 23rd Street. So on our way back, you're telling it as a story, be more natural. So on our way back, what, what train are we on our way back? <laughs> what train are we on? What train are we on? The on the way back? On the way back. The okay, so we're on the beat. And we get in the train. And now the ones that get a seat, doesn't even worry about where I'm sitting. Just sits down. And I find a seat. Don't look at the camera. You're telling oh. me what to do. Oh, okay. Sorry. So then I find a seat. And then there's this guy that's like a couple seats down from us. And he's sitting. And he, he's not a good singer. He has an umbrella and he's like a little bit overweight and he's missing like all of his teeth. He's got like one tooth. Like We're sitting like down a, talking about the camera and all of a sudden we hear she works hard for the money. I was telling her. It's your turn to sing. And then so the guy's singing. She works hard for the money and he's like she's a good woman. Don't treat her wrong. She's a good woman. You know you better be right to her. And he just making up all What's he singing to Nando about you? <laughs> he was 